Final Fantasy fourteen. Ten broken character builds that are a lot of fun. Okay, so for those of you that don't play Final Fantasy XIV, there's not really any builds in this game. You hit max level, you put on the max level gear, and then that's it. <laughs> there's no skill trees. There's no talent points. You just play the job and do its optimal rotation. That's literally it. Okay, so 10 broken character builds that are a lot of fun. Published five hours ago. Woo! All right. <laughs> from the Dancer to the Red Mage, the following builds from Final Fantasy XIV are some of the most fun to utilize. Once players reach level 90 in Final Fantasy XIV, they have many choices to make. <laughs> Wait. Okay, okay. Hold up, hold up. What? Okay, what choices? Not only must they decide which of the 19 jobs to focus on, but they must also pick which gear set and build to focus. Wait, no, you do. <laughs> what? This is literally the worst game that I have ever played in terms of horizontal progression or any type of options or anything like that. This is literally, you don't pick what gear you want, man. The game chooses the gear for you. The build of a player's job influences their play style what <laughs> what what do you mean that's lit that is straight up just incorrect that's just a straight up lie unlike other mmos like guild wars 2 builds in 14 are based strictly on gear and the stat boosting materia attached to it I, I think what this person is trying to say is that unlike guild wars 2 this game doesn't have like talent points or a trait tree you know like a talent tree this means the most fun builds will likely include a mixture of the current highest item level gear oh do they mean like a mixture of like tome and raid okay while at first, it may seem like a lot of creativity when it comes to the... <laughs> what? It may seem like there's a lot of creativity when it comes to the game's builds. Many players are often surprised to find the contrary is true once they reach the end game. Oh, okay, okay. Whether speed or damage... Wait, speed or damage is the goal? What? There are a variety of fun builds for every job in Final Fantasy XIV. Variety of fun builds. Okay, so this article thinks that there's different builds because Materia is in the game. Okay, okay, all right. Dancer, quick and powerful. Let me ask you guys a question. To my knowledge, there is one bis. And if there's two or three bis, the damage difference is like maybe a percentage at most. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter. People like to pretend that it matters, but it actually doesn't. Dancer is the is an essential job in Final Fantasy XIV. Thanks to their quick attacks and ability to buff the rest of the party with dances. Many players love being one. While Dancer's damage per second isn't the most impressive, the build allows players to put a bit more weight behind their attacks. Bringing the global cooldown to an impressively fast 2.4... Wait, what? 2.46... Players who use this build will feel great during a battle. This build requires the amazing Manderville Chakram. <laughs> okay. This build requires the amazing Manderville Chakrams and the entire augmented crafted set? With the focus on determination and critical hit pentamelds, players who use this build will see their stats skyrocket. Holy fuck. Okay, there's so many things wrong with this. Okay, one, 2.46 is not impressively fast. Impressively fast is like, I don't know, 2.32 or 2.3 or some shit. What's the max skill speed you can... Okay, that is impressive. You know, you would never want to do that, but... That's impressive, okay? No, 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 I'm, I'm not... No, I already knew you. You guys are so stupid. You can't get that on a dancer! Why would you say monk? You're so stupid! I knew you were gonna say it. I was prepared for you to say that dumb shit. Why would you bring up monk when we're talking about a dancer? What is wrong with you? You're just as stupid as the fucking idiot that wrote this article. Shut the fuck up. Anyway, dude, okay, look. You're never gonna use this. You're never gonna use this over the raid weapon. And what the f the crafted set? Why would you ever use the crafted set over the bis? That doesn't make sense. You don't need overmelds to get 2.46. Players who use this build will see their stats skyrocket. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude. Okay, all right, all right. Oh, Ninja. Okay, 2.12 second cooldown. Speed is the... Dude, what? Is this a... Is this a... <laughs> Is this article trying to promote skill speed? I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I like 
you know, like 2.41, 2.40, but I mean, I don't like a ton of skill speed. Okay, speed is the name of the game when it comes to the most fun ninja builds. All right, look, man. Okay, look, I play ninja casually, but to my knowledge, there is like one ninja bis, and it definitely does not involve a lot of skill speed. But you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. I'm a casual ninja, you know? Allowing quick combos and deadly ninjutsu. What the? Dude, speed doesn't even affect a ninjutsu. Many players have the most fun when their global cooldown is as low as it can be. The build reduces Ninja's global cooldown to 2.12 seconds, sporting the cleavers, coat, gloves, earrings, and choker of the Abyssal set. The rest of the gear should be filled out with augmented Lunar pieces. The second ring slot should be the standard Lunar Invoice ring, thanks to its better weight. Really? I can't believe I'm checking this. Oh, I don't have Abyss on Ninja. That's right. I just have... Or wait, do I? I can't even remember. I haven't played it in a while. Okay, anyway. Sorry, I just had to check. So... <laughs> <laughs> they mentioned the abyss weapon here, but up here, they don't want you to use the abyss weapon. They want you to use, was this, dude, was this fucking article written by like multiple people? Sean Clarkson. I am convinced that Sean Clarkson has not played Final Fantasy 14. Machinist, big damn. <laughs> The big damage build? What other possible build could there be on Machinist? The supportive build? Like, dude, what is... <laughs> dude, look how small this is. Look how small this is. Look, at, look, look, look. Machinist is an incredibly fun job, allowing players to stay a safe distance from the boss while firing a pistol with quick reflexes. It's a favorite among many. I mean, look, man, it wasn't a favorite among many for pretty much this entire expansion until recently. The big damage. Wait, what the f Bro, this person. Okay, look, 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 look. Oh, wait, here we go. Here we go. Okay. The gear required in this set is the Abyss pistol, mask, coat, thigh boots, earring, and chest. Joker. The other parts of the gear should be the always trusty augmented lunar invoys gear. Okay. The standard lunar invoys ring should also be slotted into the second ring piece. Look, I don't play machinist, okay? So I don't know like if they want, you know, which mask they want, which coat they want. You know, I don't know that. But this isn't like an option. Like you just, you just use the most damage all the time. Maybe this person doesn't know about the Abyss Ring or something. I don't know. The big damage build gives Machinists more speed and damage overall. Man, you know what would be nice right here? Is if they had like a comparison or like, you know, some type of information besides this sentence. What? Red Mage. Best in slot. What? The best in slot build? Okay, see, here's the thing, guys. Look, the ring, it doesn't fucking matter, okay? We just pretend like it matters, okay? You see this ring? I've been using this ring, and I do a lot of fucking damage with this ring. But you know what else? I do the same damage with this fucking ring, okay? What we like to do in Final Fantasy is because there's no fucking options, we like to pretend that there's an option with these. There's no fucking option with these, okay? You use this one, you're gonna do the same damage as this one, okay? They're literally the same. You're just pretending that this one does more damage, okay? That's all it is. All right, that's all it is. It's just pretend. It doesn't fucking matter, man. I've got higher parses using this thing when I've been... Bottom right, bottom right, bottom right. Yeah, that's you. That's you guys. You guys are bottom right. What are you talking about? Strummer, strummer. But anyway, my point being here is that I know some of you mentioned that you use like different rings. I'm aware of this, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter, okay? All you have to do is just get lucky. Every single run, you just pray that you get lucky. That's it. All right, so this is the Red Mage build, the best in slot. Okay, so I have a question. If Red Mage has different builds, why would you ever use any other build than the best in slot? I don't understand. It's literally the best in slot. Why would you ever use any other build? With the ability to use both black and white magic. Man, this is so misleading. But anyway, Red Mage players have a lot of flexibility with how they deal with and defeat the variety of bosses. To feel the power of the Red Mage, there's nothing more fun than using the best in slot gear and melds. <laughs> you know what? This right here, why didn't they just put that for every job? There's nothing more fun than using the best in slot gear and melds. To achieve the best in slot red mage gear, players must earn the necessary equipment from the Abyss Savage fights. The whole best in slot set includes Abyssos, Degen, Surcoat, Arm Guards, Earrings, Amulet, Ring. Then the other gear slots house the augmented Lunar en uh, Envoy set. A focus on direct hit and critical hit and determination melds allow players to achieve huge damage while keeping their flexibility. This is actually extremely good in 
information right here. Why did they put this for right here? Oh my god, Dark Knight, Deadly, Jesus, fuck. Okay, whatever, we're gonna... <laughs> Why did they write this here? But then up here, they said to use the amazing Manderville Chakrams and the augmented crafted set. Okay, well if you play Red Mage, then I guess this article is for you. All right, Dark Knight, Deadly Force. Many players feel that Dark Knight is too squishy. Mm, uh, I mean, no. Squishy and... <laughs> what? <laughs> what, bro? <laughs> Doesn't output a lot of damage. Woo! It's even worse. It's even worse! However, with the right build, Dark Knights can be an unstoppable force. Okay, look, I feel like that this person only does dungeons because Dark Knight is, like, so powerful in top. Man, it's fucking absurd how powerful Dark Knight is in top. And also, like, DSR, man. You know, I would say the hardest content for Dark Knight is actually leveling dungeons. Because when you level jobs like uh, Paladin and Warrior, well, especially Warrior, you notice the difference in, like, healing. So I think the hardest content actually is Dark Knight leveling. But like I said, it doesn't matter. Reducing the global cooldown to 2.45 seconds. Okay, okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's fine. That's fine. Viable, viable, definitely good. You know, whatever. Players using this build will be able to pull off attacks quickly. Direct hit and critical hit melds fill out the damage, making this build do impressive damage when played optimally. The Abyss Guillotine, Curus, Gauntlets. Well, you can use either. Depends on your skill speed. Boots. Earrings, amulet, and ring are required to achieve this with the rest of the gear sporting the augmented lunar envoy set. You know, this person's article, right? They just should have said Final Fantasy 14, 10 jobs best in slot. Why do they have to word it like this? 10 broken character builds? You know, this is like when you're on Tinder. You know, you're flipping through some, you know, no, 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 holy shit. And you got the MySpace angle. You know, the angle that's like up here and it's coming down. And you know, it doesn't, it, it, it only shows the good parts. You know what I mean? That's what it's like. This is what it's like. This right here is like the tender MySpace angle. You know what I'm saying? And then like when you meet them, they look like a fucking troll, you know? And you're like, Jesus fucking Christ. Now I'm stuck for like an hour. Fuck me. Now I have to like think of an excuse to get the fuck out of here. Here's what I'm going to do. We're going to eat some food. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm going to stand there and regret my life for 15 minutes. And I'm going to come back and say, Hey, I'm really sick. The, the food, the food made me sick. And then I'm gonna leave. All right, anyway, just use Dark Knight Biss. Okay. The Rapid Broil Summoner. I don't play Summoner, okay? But don't you spam like Ruin 3 for this? Isn't Broil like the Scholar ability? So why is this even on Summoner? Yeah, so Scholars get Broil. Summoners, what's the ability that they share? It's like Instacast? No. Ruin 2. Yeah, that's what it is. It's Ruin 2, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing that they spam when they're leveling, right? Okay, so this doesn't even like, dude, they don't even have this fucking ability. No, I'm talking about before the rework. I'm talking about before the rework. I thought they shared an ability because they're both Arcanists, right? And then Scholar gets Broil and Summoner gets Ruin 3 or whatever, right? So they don't even have this. Playing a Summoner requires players to cycle through powerful pets quickly. Weaving spells in combination with powerful summons creates an intense but fan favorite experience. By melding spell speed materia onto the weapon. Okay, so again, correct me if I'm wrong, but aren't summoners like basically a physical range? Like don't you only have like two or three casts? So spell speed is, is completely worthless. By melding spell speed materia onto the weapon, helm, and rings, Players can cast spells and summon allies faster. Wait, what the fuck, dude? You dude, spell speed, dude. Spell speed doesn't increase the summon. To achieve this build, players should unlock and wear Abyssia, the Abyss Helm. Uh, okay. The other slots should include the Aug. Okay. Spell speed shortens summon CDs. Okay, like the last I heard of a spell speed summoner was when Arthur's red or when when arthur's summoner cleared top with a spell speed summoner and they fucking memed and joked on him they shit all over him because he's an idiot for melding spell speed okay but i don't dude i don't play summoner so i don't know how wrong this is you know what i mean it's the meta build for 70 and 80 content because they can't actually go fast enough yo you know what's the meta build for 70 and 80 content level sync level sync because it doesn't matter it doesn't matter <laughs> 
You know what's the you know what's the meta is level sync. Okay, so this is just wrong. This is just something that you don't want to do, right? Like, cause most of your spells are insta cast, isn't it? It's really good in Yukob, dude. I I can't I can't stand it. I, it just it really bothers me when people are like, oh man, this is so good in Yukob, dude. You guys don't understand. Everything is good in Yukob. It doesn't matter, dude. It doesn't matter. You don't even have to wear the correct gear in Yukob. It doesn't matter, man. <laughs> It doesn't matter. You know why? Because level sync. You can always tell when people, when they're like, oh man, this is so good in, in, in Uwu or so good in Yukob. You can, it's, it's so obvious that they didn't clear when the content was like current or they didn't actually do it when the content was current. Because if you did it when the content is current, you do not give a fuck about your gear in those in that type of content you do not give a shit because you are so overpowered it doesn't even fucking matter man like it literally doesn't even matter man there is no bis in uwu and yukob you just put on level 90 gear literally any level 90 gear that's it you can pretend that your bis in yukob matters but it doesn't it doesn't literally doesn't <laughs> as long as you have level 90 gear it doesn't fucking matter, man. It doesn't. Balance says Biss and Yukob matters. Man, half those motherfuckers can't even fucking clear the fight. What are you talking about? Half the motherfuckers can't even get past the first or second phase of top or DSR. So this is just wrong. Reaper, 2.5 second GCD. Easily the best Reaper build. This 2.5 second global cooldown combination is slower than others, but allows players to deal more damage. In most fights, the build allows Reapers to deal great damage, with the only downside being the selfish timing of the Arcane Circle buff. Is it selfish? I don't think so. I mean, then again, I'm just a casual Reaper, but I'm pretty sure I just hit Arcane Circle within one or two GCDs of all the other fucking two minute buffs. Okay, mastering this build is great fun. When used optimally, players rank at the top of the damage list frequently. Their gear required is the Abyss. Okay, Helm, Curious. Okay, okay. The other slots are filled with, with the Tome gear. Combining the two sets achieves a lower overall global cooldown, but a much higher direct hit rate and damage output. You can have have really good gear in this game like you can have the best gear but you can still deal shit damage i know because i because i because i do that because i'm a shit fucking dps player okay i'm sure someone with lower item level ge uh gear than me can just shit all over my parses okay because they're just better like dude this doesn't tell you anything about the fucking job except for what gear to get but it should be obvious in this game what gear to get you just get the highest item level gear Okay, speedy slashes. Samurai have some of the quickest global cooldowns in Final Fantasy XIV. This build leans into the, that principle by reducing the global cooldown to a blinding two seconds. While it is very selfish build, it is a lot of fun. Okay, so the other builds aren't self- Like, what? The other- Wait, what? What would your GCD matter about being selfish or not? You don't have any raid buffs. What are you talking about being selfish? Samurai is just a selfish job in general. The main melding focus is skill speed. Wielding the Abyss Blade hood action. Okay, okay, players need to unlock a lot of the latest Savage gear as well as the as the Tome set. Okay, isn't Samurai like a 60 second job, right? Like don't all of your shit have to line up? Doesn't it have a pretty strict rotation? So if you have like all this skill speed, doesn't it fuck it up? Now again, I'm a casual Samurai, okay? So I might not know. Okay, so, <laughs> so this is just fucking wrong, man. This is just wrong. Astrologian, balanced. A lot of players find Astro to be a difficult job to master. The fast-paced card mechanics mixed with the lack of reactionary healing abilities. What? The lack of reactionary? Oh, maybe they're talking about because it has like star and it's like... I mean, I thought Astro has reactionary healing abilities. Okay, anyway. The idea behind this build is to give players a bit more breathing room, allowing them more time to cast spells and regain that precious MP. What? This is perfect for those players that just want an easier time playing one of the unique healing jobs in Final Fantasy XIV. To make use of this build, players need, okay, all this gear. The rest is set is filled out with the Tome gear as well as Penta Melded Ring. This gives players a lot of critical hit chance as well as plenty of piety to... Oh. I mean, piety is like... You don't want it. I mean, maybe in Prague, you know, you want like some piety in Prague, right? But outside of that, you don't really want it. 
Then again, I'm a casual healer, so I don't know. But all I know is that on White Mage and Sage, dude, I don't want, I, I want literally zero piety and I just fucking spam my glare as hard as I can. Is this the dice build? Yeah, the dice build. All right, oh, here we go. Light speed fists, monk. Nothing beats the blinding speed of a fully optimized monk. If a player is ready to hit buttons quickly, this build is extremely rewarding. Reducing monk's global cooldown to 1.93 seconds, this fun build racks up the DPS in any duty. By combining the, you know, okay, all the gear or whatever, with plenty of skill speed materia. Holy shit. You know what they could have done? They could have at least linked the fucking build too. Players will find themselves punching fast and hard. Fill out the rest of the gear with the tome set pieces and the perfect light speed monk build is complete. Okay, so again, I'm a extremely casual monk, but to my knowledge, you stack all crit and like direct hit, just like every other fucking job in the game. And then that's it. Skill speed monk. Let him cook. Let him cook. Okay, so Monk wants skill speed. How much skill speed? See, this is what I mean. They could have put the link, right? They could have just pulled up Etro. They could have just linked the Etro. Okay, so how much skill speed do you want on Monk? Okay, so 1.93. Okay, so then, yeah, this is, yeah, so then this is right. Yeah, okay, so they're correct on this one. All right, so this one, the quick and powerful. Never use this, okay? Never use this build. Okay, this is horrible. What about Ninja? What do we rate this? This is a zero out of 10. What do we rate this right here? This is bad. Machinist, big damage. This pretty much just is telling you to get the bis, right? But the question is, is it the right bis? Okay, so Machinist is wrong. Okay, Red Mage, best in slot build. This uses the best in slot. So this one is correct. This is a 10 out of 10, right? The journalist got one of them right. One of them right. Dark Knight, deadly force. Okay, I mean, this isn't bad. You can def, I mean, this is fine. This is fine. Okay, so this one's not bad. Okay, Rapid Broil. Right here from the start, this is a 0 out of 10. Because, dude, Summoner doesn't even have Broil. I thought this was really weird. Again, I don't play Summoner, and I, I haven't played Summoner since the fucking rework, but I don't think Summoner's ever had Broil at all. I thought Broil was a, was a Scholar ability only. I know they share some abilities because of Arcanist, but anyway, a Spell Speed Summoner, you don't want to do, right? So not only did they get the fucking name of the set wrong, but they also got the set itself wrong. Okay, so this is like below a 0. This is a loser! out of 10. Don't ever do this. You literally cannot do this. You cannot rapid broil. This is the loser article right here. 2.5 second GCD. This isn't too bad, right? You want a super slow GCD on Reaper, right? So this isn't as bad as like it could be. You know, this is all right. They did okay. Speedy slashes. Okay, now again, I'm not a fucking samurai player, but I thought you wanted a very specific GCD because samurai is still a minute job, right? You don't want to focus your melds on fucking skill speed. And also, what the fuck is this? While it's a very selfish build, how is this build any more selfish than if you lean into like debt build or crit build or some shit like that, dude? This is, I don't know, man. This is like a two out of 10. Okay, an astrologian or astrologian, whatever. This is just wrong. You don't want this shit. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. This doesn't make any sense. No, this is a zero out of 10. Now this is a zero out of 10 and here's why. Because they talk about more time to cast spells and regain that precious MP. They want you to put piety, but then they don't even use the piety ring. How are you gonna make a build that wants piety, but you don't use the piety ring? That doesn't make any sense. Because isn't the other healer ring piety? Doesn't it, isn't it like something really shitty like debt piety? Because, because that's why I don't have it. So how the fuck are you going to recommend a healer piety build and you're not even using the piety ring? This is a zero out of 10. This is whoever wrote this is a fucking idiot. Okay, let's see. Light speed fist. Okay, so this is good. This one is good. I feel like that this person just looked up the bis for this. This person never even logged on to healer. This person has, they never even logged on to samurai. Okay, maybe they logged on a little bit. I feel like that this entire article, they just copied, they just copy pasted shit, except for jobs that they either one, felt confident on, or two, played themselves, right? So an example of that is Dancer, right? I feel like they logged on Dancer and they were like, man, this is so fun. This is so cool. You know, I'm just going to put my build because fuck it. You know, I'm a journalist you know people will believe me they did the similar shit for like other jobs that's what i feel or they didn't play them at like max level anyway i want to give a shout out to sean clarkson hell yeah brother hell yeah keep them coming this is good content i want to say um hopefully sean will get to level 90 one day and then he'll reflect on how funny this article is